can't connect to the Sun SDR2DX! Exclamation point. Good day YouTube, this is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I'm gonna share you my struggles with the Sun SDR2DX. Stay tuned. So this is what happened. I got home today and uh, when I turned on the uh, Sun SDR2DX, uh, the software defined radio, it could not connect. And um, earlier, we had a, a internet failure, so there was no connectivity. So what I'm gonna show you now is I wanna do a hard reset and try to recover my Sun SDR back online. I made an earlier video, but um, I ran into a lot of problems. So I'm going to try to repeat the process of what I did and show it to you. Here we go. All right, got to turn off the radio. I'm going to come to the back. I disconnected this Cat5 cable that goes to the router right here. Okay and I connected this yellow one. It's um, long enough to be attached to my laptop. There are two reset buttons. The first one is right here, reset, RST. And then the second one is a Bluetooth, BT, Bluetooth. So I'm going to push both of them at the same time and power on the Sun SDR2DX. Okay, I got two pins. I push it in until I hear, I uh, feel a, a little click on both. Power on the unit, flashing red and green and I remove my reset pins. The next step is I'm gonna go to the PC and configure my ethernet. The Sun SDR2 has a flashing green LED light. I'm gonna go to my network connections and right here is the ethernet to Sun SDR2DX. I just relabeled it so I know that that's the one that's I'm, I'm using. So right click, go to properties, go to IPv4 properties. And here you want to type in the IP address 192.168.16.50 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and click OK. You see that I lost the connection. If that happens to you, it always happens to me. Disconnect the... I'm using this dongle right here. Okay. It's made by Anchor. It's a USB-C to an ethernet connection all right so what i want to do is just disconnect and reconnect all right and uh, quickly go back to the properties and see that it's there because i'm using an ip address Click close i'm just going to move this aside you might be asking where did i get that ip address um let me show you where so this is the website eesdr.com. Go to your product, find the Sun SDR 2DX. Then go to support, user's manual, Sun SDR 2DX transceiver. And what you're looking for is setting up Sun SDR 2 Pro for dummies and uh, this is where you find it make show you exactly where
So follow these steps here that you see. Uh, and I'll let you, you can download it and read it yourself. But here, this 192, 168, 1650, that's what I used. Let's uh, open up the Expert SDR2 software. Okay, bring it down here. Go to options and down here to the left uh, of this box, discover. Let's use that. Let's power on the radio. Okay, cannot connect. So let's close that. So if it doesn't connect, there's a trick and it doesn't tell you to do it turn off the radio turn it back on now I have a steady green light on the radio reopen the application expert SDR2 software I have number three here but I don't know how to use it yet. I prefer using the two. You see the trick, it worked. So I have a steady green light here and uh, the user calibration isn't correct. Uh, do you want to write the default calibration and uh, values? And I said, yes. And it confirms, Are you do you really want to do this? And I said, yes. Boom. So here's the audio. Let me turn on my audio so I can hear it. Someone talking here. Those two, uh, those two uh, the sound effects up there, but uh, uh, so often as not, there's some digital. So yeah, it works now, right? The next thing you need to do, go to expert uh, SDR firmware, just verify that uh, there is no um, firmware update available. Just, uh, just click on it. It says firmware is up to date. Click OK. Click OK. You see it still works. OK. Close that out. It's working. Now we need to find a spare IP address. Let's go back to that uh, that manual, SSDR for dummies. And uh, we need to find the um, command prompt. So what you need to do is just follow these steps here. Um, go to your, your search and then just type CMD, Charlie Mike Delta and you'll find a command prompt. In here, what you're going to type is, it's the uh, IP config slash all, okay? Uh, I don't want to show that to you because it has my network information on there, okay? So when, when that expands, um, you're looking for this IPv4 address and it tells you to write it down okay so it looks like this 192.168. dot something dot something and then close that window so once you have that number in my case I'm using um, mine is weird 10.0.0.200 that's what I'm going to use So once that's done, and then we'll connect that to the um, my router. Next thing we're going to do is um, change the IP address of the radio. And that number that you wrote down on that piece of paper on your desk.
Okay, good. So go to options and we're going to go under expert that IP address. Mine is 10. It's 010. .000.200. I'm going to set that IP address and it's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes. So give it a few seconds to set. It shouldn't take that long. Now that we set the IP address, it's no longer going to work on my laptop. I need to now disconnect the that yellow um, Cat5 cable and now connect the black Cat5 cable. That's the cable that's connected to my router. So let me do that next. That's uh, just quick and easy. Um, go ahead and turn that off. So just disconnect the yellow one. And this is the, the one that's connected to my Dell laptop. And this cable here, the black one, that's the one that's going to go to the router. Plug that back in. Turn on the Sun SDR2 DX. Steady green light. Perfect. That's what I want. Now that my Sun SDR2 DX is connected to the router with that black cat5 cable it should work so start the application the expert sdr2 okay i like to go to options and discover the radio and use that radio bam my Sun SDR2 now works going through the router. And uh, I prefer it that way because particularly this laptop that I'm using, the uh, Dell XPS 17, I, it keeps dropping sync. It keeps losing connection. So that's it. That's how to reset your Sun SDR2 and uh, make it work. So here's the audio, and you hear the QSOs. 4,000, 180 now. 850. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, really. Geez. Well, if you get the commercial duty one uh, with 3,000 watts output, uh, why is it so low? OM 4,000. Look at this guy. I'm at 3K. This guy's at 4K. Not for 3,000 watts output, that must be a conservative number. That's got it. So the OM 4000, uh, the original OM 4000 would do 5 kilowatts. This was a pair of the tubes you have, right? Yes, sir, exactly. Well, it took me more than an hour to, uh, well, to troubleshoot while I was uh, recording. And it's late at night, I was getting kind of tired. I got to go to work tomorrow how to do laundry and so forth and so on. For those that have a Sun SDR2, you experience this problem, or Sun SDR2 Pro, it's the same process. I resetted it and I looked for a, an IP address on my network and uh, changed the IP address on the, on the SDR and then reconnect that SDR to my home router and it worked my name is captain darren my amateur radio call sign is n4 vfr i hope you enjoyed my videos if you like it please consider to subscribe to my channel give me some comments leave me a like it motivates me to make more videos uh, even on processes of fixing my own problems uh, because later on in in life uh, it might happen to you and that's why those people are doing searches on YouTube on the YouTube channel how to do this how to do that all right guys 
I need to hit my sack, my bed, my rack. Until next time, 73s, have a great day.